Hey guys, welcome to my channel where we'll be discussing family, faith, hope, and love. I'm so glad that you joined me. Let's be fed daily bread. Are you hungry? Welcome to my channel. You have joined me on my digital journey. I have been led by the Holy Spirit to drop you golden nuggets each and every day. Hello to my family. Hello to my friends. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for your words of encouragement. Today is day 315 episode 315 so what I'm gonna be talking to you today about is guaranteed the word guaranteed so when the Holy Spirit dropped the word guaranteed I was like thinking of the song that I heard like back in the day okay um, it's like call me if you need someone to talk to satisfaction guaranteed so i was like okay god you want me to call you because if i call you i know that my satisfaction is going to be guaranteed is that the message that you want me to drop today on this platform and of course the holy spirit was like sure everything that i have for you all the promises that i have for you are guaranteed do you know that because sometimes we get in a rut and then we let the woes of life get us down but then if you know third world it said takes all the negative and turn them around so god wants you and me to know that his promises are guaranteed okay so of course there's some information that god of course want me to bring to the table on this digital journey today so that you can know that his promises are guaranteed and the greatest example that he used was, of course, Abraham. Um, Abraham wanted to know. He wanted a guarantee, okay? And, you know, they had a covenant. And God used the power of the covenant to complete the inheritance transaction that he told Abraham about, okay? And the same thing that he did for Abraham, the Lord gives the same guarantee to us today. Because people are like, oh, that was back in the day. You know, the things don't work out for us the same. You see how many years they live. People don't live that long anymore. And, you know, there's a whole bunch of excuses people have when it comes to the Bible. The same, the same miracles that God did back in the day is the same miracles he can do today. All he is asking for and all he's looking for is so, for some people to believe who are bold enough to believe and receive what it is that God is telling them and to do and take actions because I know before every miracle there are a set of instructions okay the promises that God has for us there are guaranteed and there are promises in the Bible that you are supposed to be making sure that you get into your system each and every day for the Lord your God will hold your right hand, saying to you, Fear not, I will help you. Okay? It says, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flames scorch you. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you. And you shall glorify me because everything that we do we got to give God the honor and the glory and I said but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength and they shall mount up with wings like eagles and they shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint okay God ain't looking for no weak Christians or weak believers he never, ever, ever, ever told you that you will never face anything. Um, you will never, ever have any difficulties or 
anything of that source. And he never, ever said that. But what he tells you here, that you can call on me in a day of trouble and I will deliver you. And he said that I will hold your right hand. And he says, fear not, I will help you. So you need to know these things, that his promises are guaranteed. God will give you a guarantee. And if you want a guarantee, in like 30 days, like, okay, within 30 days, you have a, a, a guarantee. No, 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 this guarantee, it is set. Ain't, he ain't changing his mind. God ain't, he don't lie, he don't change his mind. It's nothing of that sort. You have a guarantee, okay? There are endless promises in the Bible, endless promises that the Lord gives us, okay? And we need to now take the initiative to do the things that God has asked us to do, okay? If you looked at my previous episodes for the last couple of days, we talked about frivolous and meaningless, and then now today I'm talking about guarantee, okay? God promises or guarantee. He just needs you to get on board with him and trust him, okay? The word of God proves to be true. Yes, it does. And God is a shield to all, not some, but all of those who come to him for protection. My question to you each and every day is, are you hungry? I know that I am. So let's be fed daily bread.